We got Mike. It's like upper level, upper body. My upper body. Dolls, I always shout out my influences in my interviews. Nowadays, it's, <laughs> it's become cool to pretend you weren't influenced by other artists. Shout out to the ones big enough to do it. Cash, Asian, Cuban, Sweetie. Just, girl, just call, call, call yourself Sweetie. Guy. Just call yourself Sweetie. Take this egg out. I don't like it. <laughs> no female rapper other than Trina song with me or congr congratulated me on my billboard accomplishments. I didn't mind. I never felt they were obligated to do so. Just like Beyonce <laughs> isn't obligated to congratulate or collaborate with Normani or Baby Stormy. I never had a group of men in studio write my songs for me. So it took a while between albums. Girl, what the fuck are you even talking about? Hey. We out here. It's about to be summertime and y'all still hate it. Hi guys! Yo, my hair actually looks crazy, like crazy for shazy. I got my blue sun shades on. Y'all already know what time it is. About to be summertime, y'all still hate. I'm here on at Armstrong Park. Can you even read it? No, I cannot. We just saw this big old like shiny thing, and we decided to walk over here. We here suddenly. <laughs> we spontaneously combusted earlier, and then we reappeared. We materialized in Cafe Du Monde, so it's hot. It's cash only. Are you trying to sit down or take out? Sorry. Oh my god, I just caught that on candid camera. You're on candid camera. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna get beignets. Beignets and maybe a frozen ole. Ugly and unattractive. We really out here at Cafe Du Monde. We love the green and white. We got our beignets. Good. I'm just feeling it right now. Ooh. You lishy on some? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna try it. Ends up on your lap. No, ma'am. Are you dumb? <laughs> Are you dumb? This is a message for me. Are you dumb? You ordered a big old coffee at 3 42 in the morning. <laughs> no, I'm taking a shower. It's late, y'all, and I'm finna do a whole wash and go. It's 3 40. Shut up, Will. Shut up. <laughs> Just shut your mouth. Look <laughs> beat up. Like, somebody beat me up. Hello everyone. So, <laughs> my nipple is out. Period. That's just where the conversation is starting. There's a conversation happening behind me as well. Don't mind it. <laughs> I am getting ready for the night. I'm taking off this little bit of makeup that I just put on. Didn't just put it on, wore it all day. Maybelline yeah, in the shade Coconut. 355. People are sleeping in this room. Can you imagine? Anyway, I'm taking it off of my face because I'm about to take a shower because I've been ripping and running in these New Orleans hot streets all day. So, taking this off my face with some witch hazel, ooh, spooky, and some cotton pads. It feels so good to take this off my face. Oh my god. Period. Is that my phone?
hitting repeat. I didn't mean to hit repeat. <sighs> Girl. Um, so there's so the issue tonight was that there was like way too many options of things to do. Um, one, Bourbon Street and Frenchman Street with some friends from college. Those same friends are also having a barbecue tomorrow that we Oh my god, there's a barbecue tomorrow. <laughs> There's a barbecue tomorrow, and there's also tons of other things that we have to plan around. Too much going on. Anyway. <sighs> there's also this Afrobeats party, because Essence, what they do is, like, it's the convention in the daytime, and then it's the Superdome, and all of the concerts and all the big names on the, on this, on the lineup. And then after that, there are these After Dark parties which is basically just like a continuation of the party until like 2 a.m. So there's constantly things for you to do. So um, after, there's this Afrobeats one that like Spice, girl, Spice, Spice, Estelle's gonna be hosting, I think. Rotimi's gonna be, like literally just all of the, the bops are gonna be at this party. Um, so I think we're gonna head to that. But also like some friends went, my eyes stuck, whoa. Also, some friends want to go to Frenchman and Bourbon to get wasted. And also, some other people want to meet up. Girl, my pimples is acting up like a city girl. Not, it's just not cute anymore. I'm going to take a shower and get my life together. And we'll probably just head to the, because it's a good 10 o'clock almost. And the party starts at 10 and it lasts until 2. I'm going to get in the shower and do my thing, period. And we'll figure it out on the way. I'm taking a nap. You want to take a nap? I'm taking a nap here. Okay, take a nap right there then. Good night. You guys, I'm here with Karen of Diva Curl. Aaron. Aaron. I literally thought you said Karen. <laughs> Wait, no. <laughs> I don't know where I am. <laughs> okay, Aaron. We're here with Aaron. I'll see you, Carl. Round two. two. Take two. Right, take two. <laughs> we got Suki over there doing her thing. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. We're gonna walk through. They have a cute booth here. I'm just gonna show y'all real quick. Ooh. And there's a line. Lots of people here. Are you kidding me? Their whole theme this year is wetter. Wetter is better, which is, girl, the way that my hair is. <laughs> my hair is wetter than a aquarium. Period. They have a waterfall, y'all. Oh, it's wet. So we are out here at what is this place called? Tramase. Chana. Don't butcher it, sweetie. Can I say? Um, and we have our food finally. Ooh, food. Yum. It's time to eat. Ew. Yes. How y'all feeling? How you feeling? Ready. Great. Hungry. 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 Y'all, I got three hours of sleep. I think I mentioned that already, but we got our food. Everybody's lit. Nobody's lit. <laughs> Just me. <laughs> we've been we've been drinking. We've been drinking. Uh, 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 in my grill. I'm waiting for a ketchup for these fries. Cause what do they think? Like, well, these little potato wedges. <laughs> we've been drinking. You know, Esther be pouring drinks down my like throat. You know, he babysitting. I'm not babysitting. Are you kidding me? So we decide we're all gonna sit at the table and have us a little dinner. I'm hungry! Go to the kitchen, damn it! <laughs> Make me a cheeseburger. Don't you eat any of my food! The drama. I lost my little wallet, my pouch or whatever. I found it in the lift. The lift came back and you just brought it to me. Oh. I'm crying, I'm crying. <laughs> Watermelon, I've been eating watermelon, but I'm good. Watermelon game. 
gang, gang. One, two, three, period. I know y'all are sick of me. It's about to be summertime and y'all still hating. At the Superdome, y'all. One, two, three, four. Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. Y'all, my voice is shot. I can't even. Mercedes Superdome. Yeah. And that's on what? Period. Um, we're waiting for Esther because Esther has a ticket for me to get in. Um, and I'm here with Osha as always. Can't take bags in. So we left the barbecue, dropped off her bags, headed to the Superdome. And now we're waiting for Esther and Brittany to come. One, two, three. Period. Oh my god, yes! Today, I don't even know. It's hot, sweaty. We out here. We cute though. I can't Brent, do what's good? Hey. hey, looking cute. Like, look at these fits. Look at the shoes. Well, they got mess right now. Look at the drip. Okay. We're gonna go eat food and then go to the convention center and then Normani, <laughs> Mr. Fit. Really appreciate it. We work hard. We're gonna see Jackie Ayana. These, Iana. these programming yeah, together. Yeah, yeah. Literally around this time, 10 years ago, I was going through it, girl. I was married, I was miserable. I was living in Hawaii. I didn't know anybody because that's where my ex was stationed. And this whole YouTube thing started popping off and I was like, oh, this is cute. My best friend used to always tell me like, why don't you just put your makeup to, like, why don't you just do your makeup on YouTube too? Like, why don't you just do it as well? I could not afford to go to makeup school. Like I learned how to do makeup, basically trial and error, practicing on my friends and family. And then eventually I went on to get a job working at Mac. So I kind of got more of my experience there. I didn't realize this, but at the time, what I was doing is I was watching girls on YouTube that were like white and Asian. And I was 
tweaking their looks to work for my complexion. Back then, you had to search such and such foundation review on dark skin, contouring on dark skin. And then after you searched diligently for dark skin, you had to scroll and scroll and scroll and scroll just to find someone who even looked close to you. So it was rough back then. And I think that people started to really catch on because they were like, oh, this girl does color. She wears all of these really far out there looks. And I think that's what kind of started to get it to grow. And honestly, it wasn't until like year five where I was like, I can actually do this for a living. This is it. I, I left the military. I stopped every other side hustle. I was like, I'm, I'm gonna do this. I'm just gonna do this. But that took five years. Your path when you aren't the traditional standard of beauty is going to be different. And you have to go into this knowing it's probably gonna be 10 times harder. The whole beauty thing was something that was always in me because I did YouTube even when there was no monetary benefit. I'm drunk, y'all. Ooh. We just got out of our Uber or my our Lyft because also my voice is so gone. Oh my God. Literally, it's just traffic. Traffic. So we just got out because the Superdome is literally right there. So we're going to walk to the Superdome. Normani is performing in like 20 minutes. We got to get through security. I, I'm looking right now and it looks like the line is mad long. So we're just going to walk. City Girls is playing right now. It's hot. I'm repping Whitney. Oh. I almost broke my whole life. Oh my god, no, no! I almost broke my ass. Of course, she about to get ran over by that car. <laughs> so we here, y'all. We made it, we barely, barely, barely. Three grenades and three fire shots in, but we here though. Okay, so we got grenades right, and we were like, oh, like, the grenades are gonna be cute. And then Esther disappears for like two seconds. But she comes back with fireball shots. If honestly, like if I disappear, I'm probably fireball. getting an extra drink. Saw the sign. They said three dollar fireball shots. How are you gonna miss out on three dollar shots? I feel like it we'll made a difference. So Normani's backstage putting on a body con. Esther has been like the one pouring deuces shots down people's throats. She's canceled. <laughs> but it made a difference though. In this heat, you need something. No, truly. Right now we finna see Normani. 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 Where you at? Where you at?
you guys. Thank you so much. I just saw Normani. We just saw Normani. I'm pregnant. Normani is that. Yes. Play yourself. See her while you can. See her while you can. Whoa, that was different.